Epstein isn't old, but he is established and respected in ways that have allowed him to dictate his career path, rather than being told when it's time to leave. That pattern repeated itself Tuesday. Epstein and the Chicago Cubs announced that after nine years as president of baseball operations, and with one year left on his contract, he would step down to let longtime top lieutenant Jed Hoyer take over as Chicago enters a transitional period of reshaping the core that secured five playoff appearances and one memorable title over the past six years. The decision echoed one that he made to leave the Red Sox in 2011 to head to Chicago, only this time, Epstein expects to take time away from work for an individual team in order to spend time with his family and explore other interests. After a while, I need a new challenge, Epstein said. If you look at my track record in Boston and here, in the first six years or so, we did some pretty epic things, then the last couple years weren't as impressive. Maybe what that tells me is that I'm great at and really enjoy building, transformation, and triumphing. Maybe I'm not as good and not as motivated by maintenance. As soon as you get to the point that it can start to feel that way to you, I think you owe it to yourself and, as importantly, if not more importantly, to your employer to be open about that and seek to pursue change. It is a testament to Epstein's place in the game, and how he's helped to reshape baseball, that his announcement commanded the attention of the entire sport. 18 years ago, when a 28-year-old Epstein was introduced as the Red Sox general manager, such attention would have seemed misplaced save for the fascination with his relative youth. Now, however, he leaves the Chicago front office as one of the most established and significant figures in the sport, someone who will feature prominently in any examination of the sport's history during the first 20 years of the 21st century. He's a lock for Cooperstown, not just because of his historic accomplishments, but because of how he's achieved them," said Red Sox CEO, President Sam Kennedy, a Brookline High classmate of Epstein's. Everywhere Theo has been in baseball, Baltimore, San Diego, Boston, and Chicago, he created a culture of curiosity, collaboration, intensity, empathy, and more importantly, good humor. When you are on Theo's team, you know you are going to win and have a hell of a good time along the way. Epstein has overseen the construction of three championship teams, two in Boston, one in Chicago, while in the process ending the two most famous title droughts in North American sports. The 2004 title that ended 86 years of Red Sox and the 2016 World Series triumph that concluded the 108-year run of losing by the Cubs secured his place in history.